Jim Clark, this is the culmination of all the hard work put in over the summer. Yeah, you talk to the players on both sides, and there's optimism about this upcoming year. Uh, we'll see if that optimism is justified over time. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Johnson and Wembenyama make up the four in the five. Then there's Harrison Barnes. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Champagny in at the two spot. Smith against Barnes. Smith outside. Five on the clock. Houston needs to get a shot. And here's Green outside. Here's Champagny. Shoots the three. Rebound by Smith. Pass to Van Vliet. At the top of the key, Brooks. Brooks setting a pick for Smith. This one for three. The rebound by Champagny. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. I had a chance to talk with the head coach, Ime Udoka, and I asked him, how do you contend with the size and skill of Victor Wembanyama? He said, every night we see this guy do something no one has ever seen before. It's kind of like dealing with the unknown. A whole new kind of player needs new schemes. So we'll see some inventiveness out there on the defensive side tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. Offensive rebound. Here's Van Vliet. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And, and, you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. G.A., if you look back at the Rockets' history, so many all-time greats have spent time there. Yeah, it's an impressive list, right? Elijah Wan, Moses Malone, Calvin Murphy, and Harden. Houston's well represented in the Hall of Fame, showing he's more than just an interior threat. Wembenyama also possesses that reliable jump shot. Right side green, baseline try. Victor Wembenyama grabs the rebound. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Barnes left side. Pass to Champagny. Paul for three. Brooks grabs the ball. Like it's trail by three. Inside, here's Green, and the layup's good off the glass. Green finds ways to get it done inside. Really intelligent as a scorer. And so it's Paul bringing it up for San Antonio. Barnes with it. Pass to Champagny. Barnes against Brooks. There's a screen. Barnes down low. And it's good, two points. You know, this game is as much mental as physical, and the mentality of Barnes is really impressive. Timeout, timeout. Um, and in control, even in pressure situations. And timeout is called by Ime Yudoka. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy.
the change here. Thompson's checked in. Castle's checked in for the Spurs. Quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Van Vliet deciding where to go with it. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Van Vliet's got five now. Few players shoot it with as much arc as Van Vliet does. That thing brings rain when he shoots. Greg, what's the key thing Fred Van Vliet brings to this offense? I feel like he's really a centering presence. Can be. The guys can look to him to call the play, to give them their orders, and trust that he's setting them up for success. Smith outside to the paint. Trying to find Thompson. He gets it to him. They kick it out to Green. Over Castle. Green, no luck. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Pass to Castle. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. A shot by Wimbanyama, no good. Rockets trail by three. Smith finds Thompson. Here's Shengu. No good. Good defense by Wimbanyama. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Greg Popovich is guiding a young Spurs team that's hoping to return this franchise to the dominance. He saw five titles since 1999. Pop said the standards haven't changed. To be very direct, demand, be fair, and love them. They gotta know you care about them. So it's all the same formula from 25 years ago to today. Kevin? It's an interesting story, David. Thank you. And of course, as a Hall of Famer, you bringing that to us? Perfect. Johnson outside. What a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this one. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Pass to Castle. Paul is screen on green. Back to Paul. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Van Vliet with it. Victor Wembenyama grabs the rebound. Wembenyama's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Champagne. And Thompson sends it back. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll return shortly. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Here's Shepard. And we've got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. Shams, watch the story. Thanks, guys. Well, the Spurs, with some experienced additions, bringing in Chris Paul and Harrison Barnes, their mentorship is likely just as valuable to this young roster as their contributions on the court. And with legendary head coach Greg Popovich, they're creating an environment for growth in San Antonio. They're really building things the right way, guys. All right, Shams, we appreciate the report. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. We've got Barnes. Castle is out there with Zach Collins. And it's Branham in at the two. Tate, he's checked in for the Rockets. Hey, Clark, no one covers the college game like you. And for new pros, 
One of the biggest challenges adjusting to life in the NBA and the play itself. Speed and size, Kevin. I mean, that's where it really starts. You've got to be in great condition. But the speed and size of the players at the NBA level is unlike any other basketball you play. Everybody in the NBA is big and athletic. And things are just played and done at a much faster pace. And it's Mamu Kalashvili missing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Barnes against Tate. Pass to Eason. To the wing on the left. 18 feet out. Brenham pulls it in. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. The three. Rockets with the rebound. Now Tate. Scoreless thus far. Eason's shot is good. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Barnes outside. And the officials call for a three-second violation. And checking out some stats for Shingo. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 21 points per game last year. Nine rebounds and five assists. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Brooks comes in for Tate. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Shepard. Pass to Shengun. Back to Van Vliet. Thompson outside. Here's Eason. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Eason's got eight points here in this quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a little. And Clark watching a man Thompson. He is just a different kind of athlete. He sure is, boy. Special as an athlete. And we've got some of the greatest athletes in the world across the NBA. He's smooth. He's explosive. He's fluid, well-coordinated. Seems like he just kind of floats in the air. It's special to watch him do his thing. Brooks, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Pass to Castle. Ingram a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Castle. Nailed from three-point land. Castle's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got five. It's blocked. Here's Branham. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Castle. Banked in off the glass. And now a three-point Spurs lead. Oh, the handle. The rookie castle flashing his potential. Pass to Eason. And Thompson kicks to Brooks. And here is Van Vliet. Six to shoot. Shengun with the screen for Eason. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. The most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And we've got a timeout from Greg Popovich. And Coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over.
Adams. He's checked in for Shengu. And it's Green and for Tari Eason. Spurs leading by three. And Clark, the Rockets, just one of a handful of franchises to win back-to-back -back NBA titles. Can you believe that, Kevin? It was roughly 30 years ago that the Rockets did that, led by Hakeem Olajuwon, perhaps the best player in the league at that time. Of course, this was while Michael Jordan was retired from the NBA the first time. Good on the triple. They are shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. For Houston, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. Adams against Wembenyama. Gets it out to Van Vliet. Houston moving the ball around. Adams, the pass to Green. And the three ball is good. Green's got five. Hey, this team has great confidence in Green's ability to connect from deep. It's really about getting him quality looks. Van Vliet against Paul. Johnson in the corner. Paul right side. Rem Benyama, a screen on Van Vliet. Paul, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Red Van Vliet picks one up. Now in the latter stages of his career, Paul's desire to compete for titles has never been higher. First free throw is good. And Paul is truly the prototypical point guard. He's got a high IQ, takes care of the ball, and he prioritizes setting up his teammates. Shen Goon's checked in for Houston. Smith comes in for Thompson. And both free throws good from Paul. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Last game for the Spurs. They want to turn it around after the loss to the Clippers. Smith outside. Pass to Green. Front pass the arc. Johnson with the rebound. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Leading by five. Paul with the screen for Johnson. The shot comes out. Excellent defense there from Smith. Rockets have gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Spurs leading by 5. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Paul surveying the floor. Pass to Wembenyama. The confidence from Wembenyama. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. And that concludes the first half. It's the Spurs as they end the second quarter on a 14 to 5 run. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. Taking a look here at the Rockets, like most teams right now, they're optimistic. We'll see how they handle the first couple of games. Yeah, everyone starts out undefeated. It is a hopeful time of year for everybody. And looking back at the first half of this game, it's likely we'll see some adjustments for the Houston Rockets. Where's the intensity at the defensive end? 
They need to get a hand up and contest more shots. Coach needs to encourage them to be better moving forward, just like I do with you guys. Uh, I'd better put my feet up. It's getting deep in here. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at Chris Paul. What a contribution. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they asked him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. Pockets trail by seven. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Shangun. At the guard positions, Van Fleet and Green. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. That's the five for Houston right now. So, Greg, the Spurs last year began 15 and 56, but it was the ending that they're really hanging their head on. They won seven of their last 11 games. And over that closing stretch, Wimby averaged 27 points, 13 rebounds, seven assists, and five blocks. A, a small glimpse into the potential of this young superstar. throw drops for Smith. You know, Clark, the Rockets have done a good job building a young foundation to this roster. Yeah, I like what they've done, Kevin. They made big strides last season, and it's a team that's really growing up right in front of our eyes, and there's no reason that they can't continue the trend they're on. He's perfect from the line this time. Taken third overall in 2022. Smith, instead of trying to take the league by storm, he was looking for ways to fit in within the system. And that's what coaches love about players like him. Johnson, that's for two. Green with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. There's the triple. A rebound by the Spurs. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That game marks the start of a five-game homestand, the longest of the season. Paul passes to Wembenyama. Oh, look at the focus from Wembenyama. Drills it through contact. And this is what you want to see. Wembenyama attacking with authority inside. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Alperin Shengun is a weapon on the block. Coach Ime Udoka said there are not a ton of true low post threats in the NBA nowadays. Joel Embiid, Jokic, I don't know how many others there are anymore. Alpi's had success against pretty much everybody that's guarded him. Kevin, his footwork is indeed high level. DA totally agree. Great footwork. Moves on moves, I've always said. Van Vliet outside. And here is Brooks. Pass to Shengun. Back to Brooks. Here's Smith. Van Vliet outside. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Van Vliet's got eight. He was determined to get those points back. You could just see the competitiveness of Van Vliet there. Johnson, the pass to Paul. They set the screen. Down low. And the dunk by Barnes. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Shengun passes to Green. They get the rebound. Shengun with the screen for Green. A three-pointer off the mark. 
and, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Here's Barnes, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be an Alperin Shangu's team. Yeah, it's uh, quite nice to see Barnes getting physical inside. You know, does a really good job sensing and feeling the contact coming and, and then going right into it, not shying away from it. First one takes. You know, Greg, with the combination of Wembenyama and Coach Greg Popovich, the Spurs should be a great defensive team. Yeah, it, it's hard with a young roster because all five guys have to work in unison, and often someone's going to make a mistake. The Rockets making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. He hits both from the stripe. Man, you got to appreciate the overall game of Barnes. He's efficient as a scorer and also works hard at the defensive end. Thompson against Johnson. Active and Vliet. Shengun with a screen on Paul. Paul against Van Vliet. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clark, looking at the growth and skill set of Shengun, he could be special. I agree 100%, partner. He's got an instinct for the game that you just can't teach. The passing, the ball fakes, the pace at which he plays, it's all there. Feels like he could have the same kind of development trajectory as Jokic. We'll see. That free throw missing. Incredible for his age. The decision making of Shengun GA is very impressive. So calm when he sees a double coming. Reads and reacts with ease when he's on the block or at the nail. Reminds you of a young Jokic with how he sees the game. And he's good on the second. Tell you what, Alperon Shingun is a big with the modern day game. He scores in bunches inside, but he also can pass it and shoot it from the perimeter, too. And we've got a timeout from Greg Popovich. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. Last season, he played outstanding. He averaged about 17 points a game, eight assists, and four rebounds. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. Ball against Van Vliet. Pass to Barnes from deep. Shengun with the rebound. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. Seven point differential. Green taking his time here. Van Vliet passes to Shengun. Here's Castle. 
Guarded by Green. And the basket by Castle. Castle's got the lead up to nine now for the Spurs. A bigger guard, 6'6", Castle can just overwhelm defenders. Impressive for his age. On the wing, Green. Over Castle. And off the front, and in it goes. Green's got five points in the quarter. Spurs leading by seven. One thirty-two left in the third, and it's Paul missing. Rockets have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. And that one's good, Green. Green is a made bucket getter, and his number has been called all night, and he has delivered. Outside, Cowan. Johnson outside. Collins, a screen on Thompson. Here's Johnson. Back to Collins from outside the arc. Thompson with the rebound. It's trailed by five. Smith finds Shangun. Over Collins. Shangun, no good. San Antonio's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Johnson dishes to Paul. Free throw line jump shot. Thompson with the rebound. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Near the three point line, it's Van Vliet. Rebounded by the Spurs. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Chris Paul, the bucket, on the assist by Johnson. Ten points for Chris Paul. Boy, a tough, gritty, smart point guard. Paul isn't at all intimidated by a little contact. For three, Van Vliet. The shot, no good. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's San Antonio leading by seven. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. A chance now to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team just moments ago. Let's get about three or four stops in a row. Let's get something put together defensively. Offense will take care of itself. Both teams are scoring. Somebody's got to play D. And Greg Popovich would very much like for his team to start locking things down defensively. Yeah, I don't think Coach is interested in snipering back and forth. I mean, he'd rather remove the other team's bullets than just to overpower them. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. They've got Collins, and it's Duke in at the three. Here's Castle. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. He's trailed by seven. Brooks, the best of Van Fleet. Floats one, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Clark famously, Fred Van Vliet, was undrafted. Why do you think he was overlooked? Wow, I tell you, I think size, but man, when you look at his intangibles, it's hard to not be impressed with what Fred Van Vliet has done. He is an incredible basketball player. Smart, tough, skilled, relentless. He's had a great career as an undrafted player got to admire the steadfastness of Van Vliet. I mean, he's an anchor for his team because they know they can trust him. The Spurs making a switch here. Wesley's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. To Brooks. Back to Thompson. Shoots over Wesley. Shot is good, and the Spurs lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Thompson. It's maybe not the shot Thompson wants, but he stays composed and makes the mid range game work for him. Collins, a screen on Thompson. 
to the middle. Gets the bucket and the foul. Steven Adams picks one up. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Spurs. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. Boy, they showed no hesitation on the mid-range game as well. I thought that was really a big key for them. And that one falls for Collins. GA, there is a lot to like about the game of Stefan Castle. His size, playmaking, defensive intensity. I guess the question, is there that one thing that he can do at an elite level? That will be a crucial step if he's to become a star. From 12 feet out, Brooks misses. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Branham. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Castle. Good on the three-point shot. Castle's got the lead up to nine now for San Antonio. This is something Castle has been working on, developing his long-range consistency. Here's Van Vliet. Off the left rim and out. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Pass to Branham. Wants to get it to Collins and does. Here's Mamu Kelishvili. Off target with his three. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Easton passes it to Brooks. Trains it from beyond the arc. And when Brooks has his jumper working, the defense needs to locate him as soon as they can. And we've got a timeout from Greg Popovich. There was no hesitating. He wants to talk to the team right now. making some changes. Shengun's checked in for Steven Adams. Smith comes in for Jari Eason. And Jalen Green subbed in for Thompson. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team during the break. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Ball against Van Vliet. Now here's Paul. Not a lot of room. He's got it. Good job in the low post. And the Spurs lead by eight. The ball control that Chris Paul has is fantastic. I mean, those dribble moves, and he's got a bunch of them. Look effortless. Van Vliet kicks to Brooks. Johnson against Smith. To the inside. Here's Van Vliet. And no good that time. Paul with the defensive effort. Out to the wing. Ren Benyama against Shingu. Ren Benyama passes to Paul. Shoots over Van Fleet. Paul can't get it to go. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though 
it didn't fall. You know, uh, that's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Extra on that one, fellas. Nobody's stopping that. Not when he comes in there with that tomahawk, that's just too much force. Tell you what, fellas, you cannot throw it down any harder than that. That was a rim rat. Here's Barnes. That's good, and it's Rem Benyama with the assist. Can't allow Barnes that kind of good position in the post because once he has it, it's dinner time. Here's Van Vliet. Brooks outside. Hits it from three-point range. Dylan Brooks relishes the chance to make the big impact play. And Benyama passes to Champagne. Ball outside. Drops in the layup for two. Paul's got four points in the quarter. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Pass to Shengun. Over when Benyama. Shengun, no good. Spurs leading by seven. Paul with the ball. And when Benyama with the flush. Watch out. When Benyama hammering that one. left in the game. Van Vliet attacking. And he gets it to go. Well, Van Vliet is just barely six feet tall. He's really a strong dude. And it Throw good, Van Vliet. Here's Paul. 102 left here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Wim Benyama. Over Shangun. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Houston. They trail by six. Shangun with a screen on Paul. And here's Van Vliet from the yard. It's four. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Van Vliet knows his team needs him to deliver much in the clutch. So all he does is dial up that intensity. Ben Benyama finds Johnson. Ben Benyama, a screen. Oh, yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are.
first free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Now a timeout called by Houston. They trail by four. What do you think we're going to see coming out of this timeout? Uh, trying to stay alive. they got to work quickly. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass to not waste too much time at all. No time to waste on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediate. Van Vliet with it. Hearted now by Barnes. And the wide open shot from Green. No good on the three. And now they decide to foul intentionally. They had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. For three, Smith. Rebounded by the Spurs. And they go to the intentional foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. And so it's San Antonio with the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. For our... All right, David, thanks so much. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg.